Welcome, everybody, to beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, and the Geico Top Flight Invite. The best prep talent in the nation getting ready for the regular season. No place to do it than here. Prolific prep. Such a talented team coming in from Napa, California, facing the Explorers out of Columbus High School in Miami. Two great games about to happen in this event. Prolific prep and the Explorers, followed by Florida Eagles and AZ Compass, all coming up in the next few hours right here on ESPN+. So much great talent to talk about. Let's start with Jace Richardson, the NBA bloodlines, the son of Jason Richardson after the great career at Michigan State and 14 years in the NBA. When you think about the Explorers, you think about a Cameron and Caden Boozer, but it was Jace Richardson who had his way yesterday. 24 points, eight rebounds, did it in a plethora of different ways, made a few three-pointers, stretched out the defense, but then he got to his left hand and with the silky finish move. More NBA bloodlines, Cameron Boozer, the name says it all. Cameron Boozer is a walking double-double. 20 points, 16 rebounds in the game yesterday, but he also has six assists with just one turnovers, which shows why he's one of the best playmakers across the country. And Coach Paul Biancardi says so. He understands how to read angles. He finishes over bigger defenders. One of the tougher players in this high school class. Looking forward to him making his college decision soon. Such a hard-nosed player. A.J. Dibonsa leading the way for prolific prep. He stole the show in our first game yesterday. Dibonsa can score in any different way all over, all over the floor. He can get you in transition. He has patience and poise, great footwork, can offense rebound and get gritty and tough on the glass, make shots from deep. He is just a fun player to watch, one of the better players, not just in his class, but in all of high school basketball. At 27.6 rebounds. And that game yesterday with LABC. To get so we've got two brother combinations for the Explorers. The Boozers, Cameron and Caden, and also Jason Jackson Richardson <laughs> for the Explorers as well. And already prolific prep going to town with their first field goal. Starting five for the Explorers. We got Boozers, Caden and Cameron Richardson with Benny Fregella and Malik Abdullahi as Boozer gets on the board for Columbus and on the other side prolific prep solid five of their own Dibonsa we told you about Diallo Tyron Stokes so athletic Darion Reed did it all yesterday and Aiden Shirell number 20. Shirell will wear number 22 today as they step out and it's Darion Reed he had 16 yesterday and he's got the touch and Darion can, Reed can do just that 40 percent three-point shooter really developed over this last year in high school basketball turned into one of the better athletes and shooters across the country look at prolific prep run they get out they just come after you in waves it's exactly what they want to do they want to turn their defense into offense get out in transition run and hang on rims just have another gear that few teams can match Crossover now, and that is Malik Abdullahi, a 6'7 senior. Darion Reed tosses it out. This is Stokes. Tyron Stokes. Ball over the last two days. Known for a power driver, a finisher at the rim, is really showing his touch from deep. Another shot from the corner on the way. It's tipped away this time. Explorers able to keep it alive. Caden Boozer, his game much improved. It's a really big sign for Caden Boozer and Jace Richardson can score the basketball. One of the more athletic guards in the class, can play on ball, off the ball, can do a lot of different things. He's gonna make someone happy. Another shot from deep. In that opener. And now here's Benny Fergella. Oh, there's a shot. It goes down for Caden Boozer, so. It's a tough shot, but when you have 24 points the night before, coach can kind of understand you're taking some bad ones. <laughs> Mikey Lewis, that's exactly what he can do. He can fill it up. He can come in the game and be an absolute game changer. Working in the paint now. Abdullahi. Good oh, pass. good luck. And the finish by Richardson. Outside. Mikey Lewis ran it down. Rushed it just a few times there on those two looks. But able to get it back when you got their athleticism, former Purdue Boilermaker, and also there's a rumor that Paul Biancardi, ESPN recruiting director, may chime in here in the next few hours. Nice take. Austin on the way to the rim.
throws her again. This time sets his feet. Great That's quarter basketball. It's high level talent, high level basketball in this one. Zoom Diallo zooms right to the rim. I like that. Here's Boozer. Now he's starting to feel it. It's a tough shot. Caden Boozer sizing things up. Abdullahi wants it, takes it amongst the trees and finishes. Abdullahi is a man on a mission in this game. Shot on coming. Both teams right now playing at a frantic pace. The home run ball to Richardson. What a pass. I mean, outlet pass looking like Kevin Love. Will inbound. 6'4 point guard. Oh, oh, ran back in. That weak side was wide open, and Darion Reed just busted. Possible Sports Center top 10 nominee. I don't know. Mm. When that shot goes up, you have got to find Aiden Surreal because if you don't, he is going to put you on the poster. He is a highlight reel waiting to happen. And White. And here's Boozer taking his game to the outside. This one's going to come up empty. You know, I think that's the next step of Cameron Boozer's games, to be able to take defenders off the dribble and get to the spot in that center. Put in underneath. So prolific prep here, pulling to within one. Coming right back, though. Another ball that was up for grabs, winds up with Columbus. This is Randy Smith stepping through, and Randy Smith has two more. A guy that Coach Andrew Moran says, look out for number three. And he's got a Big Ten body right now. Yeah, he does. At that age. Not, not many people can stop Tyron Stokes from getting downhill with his right hand. Three-pointer. He's got to have it. Too big, too strong. Good pass. To the corner. Nicely done. Darion Reed again. Prolific prep with a two-point lead here. Columbus running. Richardson jamming. At the half, but so much firepower, so many lead changes. Darion Reed had 16 points yesterday. He went right to it. He's got 13 after one half. Darion Reed was big time, starting the game off with the finish at the rim and then showing his ability to shoot the basketball. But when the shot goes up, if you don't check out, Darion Reed is coming to hang on rims. Cameron Boozer on the other side, the undisputed leader, 13 points. What does he do well? He's just too big, too strong, too physical. Great hands to be able to catch the ball in transition. Great footwork to be able to go around defenders. He's a, a guy that can stretch the defense, very versatile, knock down shots from deep. He can do it all in a half-court setting. He's unselfish. He goes to rebound, fights for offensive boards. This guy can do it all. Not come soon enough. Feels like these guys are in mid-season form. They're getting after, competing at a high level. This is what you live for. This is what you go through a pro list and prep for or a Columbus High School. Caden Boozer gets the roll. And Black, one of the best in Florida and white. Columbus High School, state champions in Class 7A in FHS AA play. Big take here to the goal, and it's Richardson finding a seam. Victorious today in the first two games. Columbus going to work here, and that is Boozer. Got momentum on their side. Power it up. Oh, is that a goal 10? Gonna play on here. Sorrell can't do anything with it. And now here's the breakout. Richardson wants it. Bring it up. Cameron Boozer does a great job. Of getting a little bit shaken. Sometimes the defense, it can lead you to offense. You have to love how, how Cameron Boozer better get head up. Find his teammates, open floor. Jace Richardson with the knockdown and transition. Here for prolific prep. This is a moment where guys are kind of looking at each other, getting a lot of resistance here from the Explorers. Good option with Stokes. It's a big time shot, big time shot. Eight assists so far in this game. They want to, to play a little bit more as a team. Boozer, the lob. Abdullahi goes and gets it. Boozer showing why he's one of the best playmakers in the country. I mean, your big man pushing the break for you. Not too many four or five mans can push the break and throw the lob. AJ Dibonsa, can he get on track? Held in check so far, just six points. Stokes. Yes. Stokes right now. I think the guy that wants to put a little bit more on his plate. 
you can hear his energy. You can hear him screaming out, and one, and one. I want the basketball. He made a great cut to it, catching it in the pinch post, and then he's just too small. Jace Richardson, too small to stop the big fella. Six. Caden Boozer stepping through the defense, drawing contact and finishing. Prolific prep. They can erase this eight point lead in the blink of an eye. Here's Boozer. Smith again. Ring it up. And he's fouled. Randy Smith. He has arrived here in Vegas. You're MVP of the Peach Jam. You are no longer Cameron's little brother. No. <laughs> I would say. All right. Darion Reed firing. That's the first bucket he's had in the second half. Right back to Randy Smith. Taking it right out the shot blocker at Darion Smith. With Reset here. Caden Boozer through the lane, sweeping. Good things happen when you get two feet in the paint. Jace Richardson, two feet in the paint. Caden Boozer, two feet in the paint. Play up. up and down we go, though, if you're prolific prep. You can't afford to trade buckets. And these exchanges, the explorers are getting the better of it. Abdullahi rams it off. Abdullahi out to Fragella. That one doesn't drop. Richardson able to run it down. Jace Richardson just relentless. Jace Richardson just attacking the six. The lead right now is 16. Caden Boozer again. They're trying to get Fragella going. He's got to knock one of these home, and finally it goes down. And the confidence in Caden Boozer to keep in with 13. Abdullahi with 13 as well. Just been a team effort by the Explorers. Here's Smith. Now he is looking for his shot tonight. In and out, Darion Reed played really well in the UIBL circuit. And as Boozer cashes in one more, and the Explorers pulling away. Oh, just high school basketball, it is looking more and more like college basketball these days. Boozer. House. Oh, man. Mouse in the house. A one point lead to the locker room. It's been all explorers in this second half. Just having fun. Richardson going to town. Get this. They've outscored prolific prep. 44 to 19 in this half. I did. And the explorers, they just come out and they just do their job. They just put on their hard hat and they just go to work. Richardson can't get it to fall, but there's Boozer. Well, you're about to. 25 point lead. Mm. Who would have envisioned this? Boozer adds another. I mean, he's doing it on a defensive end, rather it be guarding Stokes or guarding DeBance or guarding Sorrell or Reed. I mean, he's guarding a multiple, multiple players in this game, and he's getting it done. Stokes with a big hammer. It's two of 10 shooting, just six points. Darion Reed now running. Stokes again. This kid can play. Stokes can really shoot the basketball. Cameron, Mo Cameron Boozer was big time. 25 points, 16 rebounds, go along with five assists. Did it a lot of different ways. Did it on a defensive end. But for the Explorers, they just completely shut the water off for, for prolific prep in that second half. A beautiful display of defense. So a tremendous showing. 83-61, the final. The Explorers are going to the championship. Hope you enjoyed it. Coming up a little later, Florida Eagles and AZ Compass. For Ray Bell Davis, Andrew Felio saying so long from Vegas. More of the top flight invite coming up. We'll see you then.